everyone! Welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be unboxing the Decorated Add-On Easter Box for 2023. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Decorated, they are a quarterly home decor subscription box where you get beautiful home decor each quarter. But each quarter they also have holiday add-on boxes and for the spring season, Easter is the holiday that they do the add-on box for. Um, so you do have to be subscribed to Decorated in order to get the box here today. Now, the regular Decorated subscription, I've already unboxed the spring box if you wanna check that out. It is my favorite one ever. Like, I think they've gotten way better. I thought it was so good. That box is $89.99 a quarter. If you sign up annually, it's a lot cheaper. And I do have a coupon code, Katrina15, where you can get $15 off your box or your first box whether it be the um, quarterly or the annual box. That code does not apply to this box. This box is an add-on to that subscription and this box is $49.99 to add on for the Easter box. And the holiday boxes just have fun items that are specific to the holiday. So obviously this one's gonna be Easter, so bunnies and fun and spring. Welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there and welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina and on my channel, I unbox lots of different subscription boxes, including home decor subscription boxes. So if you like this or subscription box videos, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And let's dive in. So the boxes do look a little bit different. It's more like a regular cardboard, but it's super cute because it does say Easter on it for this one. And when you open it up, you do get a nice big envelope with the card. The envelope is a different size than in the past because they've updated their booklets and their booklets are now a nice big size. It's nicer paper and it's just so stunning inside. Um, but before we get inside the booklet, you do also get an art print in the Easter box. It's a double-sided art print. So on one side you have these beautiful florals in the shape of an Easter egg. And then on the back, it says hop into spring and it's got little florals on it too. So these are great. You could frame these and hang these up. You could put them on a pegboard. Um, lots of fun, cute things that you could do with these beautiful designs. Then the booklet. So the booklet's great because it goes over everything that you receive in the box, but it also gives you styling tips for the things. I'll be honest, like, I love home decor and I like a, a space that looks good. I don't always have the eye for it. I feel like I have half the eye. I can like halfway get it there, but it's not all the way there. So I love getting different styling tips. So throughout this video, if you have any ideas on how to style some of these items, please leave that down in the comments below. Now on the inside, this is the page that provides the inspiration for the Easter box. And I love that. Um, so it says inspiration is everywhere. This Easter, bring the outdoors into your home with dark wood finishes, linens, natural materials, and subtle hints of green. This box will blend perfectly with your spring decor. So the first thing in the box is the bunch of carrots. So these are made with raffia and jute. This bunch of carrots is a fun addition to your Easter decor. Um, you can use them all together because they're tied together or you can separate them. So you could untie this little ribbon here and have the carrots be separate. I actually really, really love these because I love the natural colors. Like orange, which is a regular color of a carrot, is not one that I'll use. I will say that you can definitely play with this to make it look different. It came a little smushed, but you can totally like zhuzh it and make it look super cute. Um, so you could use these, style these in a basket, just put them like you know, on a table like that. If you have like a stack of books, I feel like this could look really pretty on a stack of books or on a tray when you're doing tray decor. One of the ways that they did it here, which I think is super stunning and use it on a place setting. Um, so obviously there's three, so the numbers are, you know, you could only do maybe three place settings or you, I don't know if they sell these in the store if you could get more, but a really cute touch for place settings as well. So I love that it's like, I don't want to say like, it's not kitsch Easter, but it's like, cliche Easter, but it's in a natural, more like sophisticated, like design, really, really fun. The next thing out is the Easter sign. And this is what it looks like. It is super duper pretty. Um, I really like this. I'm not normally a fan of signs like this, like with words and things like that, but I actually think this one's done really well. And this one's pretty good quality. Like it's tight on the canvas. Um, and just some really pretty colors. You do have a little gold thing here to hang it on the wall, but it's also something that could just be propped up like that. Um, you don't have to, you don't have to hang it on the wall. 
Um, so you can, you know, put this as a nice little eucalyptus wreath, which will add subtle hints of green to your space. You put it on entryway table, hang it on your wall, lots of fun things that you can do with it. Um, and obviously not everybody celebrates Easter, but that's why they do a separate add on box so that if somebody is not into that, then they don't have to get that in the regular box. But this stuff will pair really nicely with the stuff that came in the spring box. They also use this little tray here to elevate it, which is definitely something we got in a past box. That's something we've gotten in a past box. So it definitely shows you ways to style these with items that you would have already received, which is fantastic. Up next is the metal basket. What is Easter without a basket? Am I right? Now this one's nice because it's a semicircle. So it's something that you could hang up on the wall um, if you chose to, um, but it's really, really nice. So you could put, you could use this as someone's Easter basket if you wanted to. You could put greenery in this to make this really green. You could put Easter eggs, but you could also use this just not Easter related, hang it up on the wall and put books in it or notebooks or pencils or like use it as just like a practical storage device. So I will show you some of the ways that they styled it. This one here, they just styled it with fun little greenery and then they have this little white bunny here. We received that in Easter box last year. And they show it here with some Easter eggs in it, some just regular greens, and then here they have some notebooks in it. So I love this piece because it's like Easter, Easter basket. It definitely works really well for Easter with a light color, but is also something that very much can be used throughout the year anytime and is really, really nice and it's nice quality as well. All right, and then the last piece is a set of wooden bunnies. Now they come like this because you do have to build them. So I did wanna show how this came. Now this stuff comes in like boxes and stuff in there, but it's gonna be pretty straightforward to build because you just take the screw out and screw these back on. So let me screw them on right now. All right, so those were super easy to put together. Now you do need a screwdriver in order to do that. It did, one did not come in this box, but one did come in the spring box and you would have to get the spring box to get the add-on box. So. Um, just FYI, but you can always use one that you have at home. So these are the set of wooden bunnies. Now, if you're like, oof, I don't like the pattern on it. Well, they're double-sided. So if you just want plain little bunnies, I love the different heights of them. They look like they're kind of jumping together, which is super duper cute. You can stagger them. You can put them next to each other. You can do fun things. You could play with height and stuff like that. But I do love this pattern. It's really fun in spring. Um, and I love the little gold detail there. Um, so you can use these on a tray. You don't have to put them together. You could have two different bunnies in different places. Um, but I do think that they're really, really pretty. I love the gold accent and they're just, they're so cute for Easter. So you can have them here hopping around in different greenery, or if you wanna style them on a tray, that is definitely another option to do with the cute little bunnies. All right, and that is everything in the Easter box for 2023. Um, these boxes don't have as many products as in the regular subscription box, just cause they're a small little add-on. So you get four different things, but one of them is a set. Um, and I thought this was really fun. They do also have the deco shop or the deco created shop where you can shop for other items. So if you want stuff to kind of go along with some of the little Easter decor that you got, you can definitely look at their shop for that. And Deco Created has a great online community where you can see how other people are styling things, how they would DIY things. If you're not a big fan of wood, you could paint these. You could paint them could be completely white. You could paint them black if that's your vibe. You could do whatever you want. If you would prefer these carrots to be orange, you could spray paint them orange and they would be orange. So, so many fun things that you can do, but I really, really like this Easter box. It's so pretty and I just almost whacked myself in the face with that but would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below on this box what do you think of the easter box for 2023 how would you style these products how would you diy them i would love to hear your thoughts i'll enter a little clip of how i have chosen to style some of the items in the box so i am someone who tends to go a little bit more subtle with my easter decor and i just really love this now the uh faux flowers and this kind of like thing I already have out at my entryway. Um, so I thought, you know, this would, could be like a cute little switch of the artwork. You could put that out. If you like to have a little bit more going on, I think it could even potentially be pretty to like layer that. Um, if you, if you like more, or even like I could, you know, hang that on the wall above that. Um, but I do just really, really love that you can have a more like a less obvious like Easter design with some of these things, or you can obviously add more, put the double bunnies. You could flip the bunny around if you want to have that white patterning. That would be really, really cute as well. 
If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.